practical things to get ready for winter. That's what today's all about. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. I'm about to run out to a meeting, but before I do, let's have a look at this. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically about 13 degrees in here. I think it's fair to say winter has arrived. We've had the first frost, there's been snow on the mountain. Yeah, it's chilly. So you might have seen in last week's vlog that Rowan and I were in the UK. Not that she made an appearance in last week's vlog, but we were. And I had a great time catching up with family. So now we're back and back into everything we're doing, which as it turns out seems to be like quite a lot um, in the next couple of weeks. Got to do a fair amount of traveling around to do paperwork stuff, um, possibly to do snowboard stuff. I need to get hold of some more wax and possibly an iron sort of snowballs out for the winter and then music projects got to get on the ball sorting out some stuff that we're doing with those so plenty of stuff going on it's just a couple hours later and i am heading home just been to the supermarket forgot to bring my bag Ryan will not be happy about that So they definitely were working on the water in the centre of town and they don't think we heard that they're not working on the water. But anyway, this is either working or not working on the water. This morning's meeting did um, hinge around a whole bunch of things. Um, tidying up the garage, um, making sure all our snowboards. We want to get a new storage solution in place for them for the winter. Um, we need to get hold of some wax and probably another iron for tuning them all up in the next week or so, making a plan for that, making a plan for when we meet about winter camp and a whole bunch of other things. I think this is a cultural difference. You couldn't have this in a lot of other places in the world, just a main thoroughfare through town with a big open hole in it. So the, yeah, 13 degrees that it says there, Feels a little warmer with the sun out than it um, felt in the living room this morning when I left for work. <laughs> Since they've got the other bit of road up there, they've made this street two-way and um, with traffic lights at the gate at the end there, which is something that is not normal. So yeah, it's always a bit weird when you see a car coming the wrong way. So tomorrow I'll get up, put some dirty clothes on, go have a drum lesson and then clean out the garage with Dina and Budo. But right now I'm going to go home and start some design work that I have to do for Novimost. So uh, yeah, a day, or at least most of the day at my desk if I can get my room warm enough to be at my desk. warm in here. I'm not actually working in here. I am in my room. That's over there and uh, I've got the heater on. That's what's trying to keep me warm in here. We're into November and the electric heaters are on which means electric bills will skyrocket. Um, but what can you do? you got to be warm and uh, yeah. That is life. So when I lit the fire about six hours ago it was 13 degrees in here there or thereabouts it's now about 18 over here which is better um yes <laughs> just thought of bringing that you know like temperature update so it's the next day and uh yeah i'm back at the church building and today's job um well just had a drum lesson but today's job I'm not going to bore you with loads and loads of that, other than to say we will be sorting out snowboards. Practical things to get ready for winter, that's what today's all about. So, done cleaning out 
the garage for the day. Now it's uh, want to get the fire going at home and get on with some work this afternoon in my office. So, like we said the other day, like we said earlier in the vlog, it's cold inside. Um, it's relatively, it's actually not super cold out, so it's probably warmer outside than in. Anyway, yeah, back to work this afternoon. Different work. So I think that's pretty much kind of it for this week's vlog. Hopefully it just gives you a bit of insight into some of the things you have to do that are not super, super exciting, but they're just stuff you have to do. And uh, pretty happy with our tidying up this morning. It's gonna make going out on snowboarding trips a whole lot easier. We've got to do our whole setup thing where we um, tune up all the snowboards, clean them up, get them all ready, check if things working for winter. Um, looking at stuff today, we're gonna need to get some new bindings. Um, work out where we do that um, and do a big waxing up session. That's all to come. We may or may not vlog that, it depends. It's not super exciting at the end of the day. And um, that'll be hours of work. Um, I mean, probably in the end, between eight and 12 hours, I think we'll work to get all the snowballs ready um, for this winter. So that's all to come. Um, yeah, and then I'm back upstairs now, work on my laptop, doing some design stuff. So that's me for today. Um, and then we've got, well, that's me until about 5.30. Then back to the church building, we've got a, a games night going on, like board games, card games, that kind of thing, um, with young people. So, brings you up to speed with what we're doing right now. Um, and as I said, that is it. Thanks very much for watching. Do give us a big thumbs up for getting ready for winter. Um, do leave us a comment or a question if you want to know more about what's going on. And remember that together we do adventure. We'll see you next time.